Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is non rev sims and welcome to a sims 3 current household video if you are not familiar with my clark perfect genetics leprosy i'll have a link in the top right it'll be a link to the first video that way you can go watch the first video before you watch this one because this is an update video so again if you're not familiar with them you're gonna be like who the hell are these people anyway let's get on into it so like I did the first time, I'm gonna show you guys the exterior of the house and then show you my Sims and then do the interior of the house. But this is an update, so not much has changed. Oh wait, has it? I'm not even sure what has changed because I don't remember what I did in the first video. Okay, I do remember what I did in the first video, but um, really quickly. So in the front of the house, the first thing that's changed here is we have a little lemonade stand. Um, we actually didn't use it that much, which is a little unfortunate because I did want my kids to sell lemonade. Um, maybe we'll try again in Gen 2 for, for that lemonade stand. We have a car. I don't know if the landscaping was like this in the first part, but yeah, that's that. We got ourselves a nice little Joshua tree. Um, here is our garden, which is a little smaller, I believe, than last time. In the last part, I did talk about doing a full backyard with a pool and a grill and all that stuff. I still haven't done it just because I've been lazy. <laughs> anyway, um, we got a nice little bike over there that honestly none of my Sims really even use, but it's there for them to use. Okay, okay. Let's get on into the Sims. We'll start off with my Gen 1 Sim. And at this point of me recording, I have completed Generation 1. So let's go check in with Naomi and see what is new with her. All right, Miss Naomi. Um, Miss Naomi has a new look. Did she have this in the last video? I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure she did. Anyway, she has a nice little sundress on with some little wedged heels. And yes, so Naomi, she is an adult finally. She is 26 days away from aging up into an elder. I'm not excited about it. I'm actually pretty sad. Um, all her favorites and everything are still the same. So I'm not gonna go through with that. These are her relationships here. Um, yeah, I don't think she has like a really good friend. I mean, she has like Ariel and oh he's not even her friend anymore jason well that's that okay anyway she still doesn't have a career she has pretty much so for generation one my goal was to one finish her lifetime wish which we did her lifetime wish was the perfect garden so she had to plant and grow eight different species of the perfect plant we did that so that was my main goal with generation one but also for generation one i wanted her to have one really good friend outside of her family which i think ariel is that one really good friend which is funny we've come full circle and then she has an enemy i don't think they're enemies anymore but it is um avery's ex-girlfriend so they're not really enemies anymore i think she's even off our list yeah she's just gone yeah so we don't even care about her anymore but that was her enemy and then for skills i wanted her to master three skills so she has mastered cooking gardening and handiness so generation is a fit one is officially complete and because it is complete i did enable world adventure so world adventures is officially enabled although we have not actually traveled or anything because again that will be generation two's whole business but yeah what else is new so she is on level eight of violin that the violin skill is actually really hard to level up in um it's been moving slow and gambling that one has been going really slowly for her um we also have writing painting fishing and athletics she actually needs to go work out so she can you know get to level nine with that her inventory as usual she has a lot of plants and things in here um, we've been collecting gems and getting them cut she's been going fishing um, we do have the omni plant i think it's this one she has quite a few recipe books because she did master the cooking skill so she does want to learn all these recipes and she does have an opportunity right now but that's not important and then her lifetime rewards i did say in, in the first video that i wanted her to get more so right now she has observant super green thumb fast learner legendary host because she is a party animal she likes to throw parties so we need our guests to have fun um she has the long distance friend attractive steel bladder dirt defiant carefree and eye candy both of these two came from world adventures and i just wanted her to have something to spend her lifetime reward points on because we have so many and i don't think i'm gonna buy any of the more expensive ones like i don't think we need anything else so i did just buy what would be handy for us which is like steel bladder and dirt defiant when it comes to messing with our garden so that has been super helpful um next up i could hit play right i could yeah i don't want my sims to do something crazy though 
All right, let's hit play and see what happens. All right, next up we have Mr. Avery Clark. He did take her last name just because she is the one that proposed to him. You know what, at the time of the first video, I think it was their wedding day. So on their wedding day, he did age up because I completely forgot to turn off aging. So he did age up before her. Um, he got those nice little pigtails, but here's Avery. He's an adult. He will age up into an elder in 22 days. All of her, all of his traits remain the same. His favorites are the same. These are his relationships. He has a really good relationship with his police cruiser because that's his primary car. He's also really good friends with his boss and his partner at work. Um, he does have a few other relationships. Let me see. Oh, this is his ex here. So Marisol is the one that we became enemies with. And yeah, these are his relationships. Nothing more, nothing less. Here is his daughter. Um, his daughter that, again, she doesn't exist in this fear, but that's his daughter. And she had a son named Willis, so he officially has a grandson. I think he does know him. I think he's interacted with him once before. Like, we saw him at the library. Oh, there he is. Okay, so that's his grandson. So, I mean, he's our acquaintance. He has officially reached level 10 of the law enforcement career, so he is at the top of that. He's actually gonna get a raise pretty soon. Um, I don't know, I think I might have him quit this job and do something else just because there are some few, there are some things that like anytime he steps into a room, Sims will run to him. I don't know if it's because he's an international super spy or what, but like Sims would literally drop what they're doing and run over to him. He's not a celebrity, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't have late night enabled, so <laughs> that should not be a thing. But anyway, he has mastered the athletic skill. He has charisma skill, cooking skill, fishing, gardening, handiness, logic, painting, writing, and gambling. These are his wishes. He wants to be worth more than 1 million simoleons. That probably will not happen. Um, but yeah, these are all of his wishes here. He does have a few food related ones. His law enforcement beeper. He has some gardening items because he helps Naomi out with the garden. And that's that. And then these are his little lifetime reward, reward items here. I'm not going to talk about them, but you can pause the video real quick if you want to see which ones he has and yeah that's everything about Mr. Avery all right so the reason I'm doing this update video is because like I said in the first video I didn't plan on doing an update until our heir Miss um Rue I forgot her name oops <laughs> I didn't plan on doing an update video until Rue aged up oh okay let me let him come up the stairs see look see they run to him you guys saw that like literally they will stop what they're doing to run over to him and that's so annoying and i think it is because of his job because i've never had any oh okay what's what's with the flirt okay wait a minute what did i just miss okay i gotta keep this game on pause because i just missed this has be smooched i don't know what's happening but okay um anyway here is mr what is your name simon i was like i know it's an s all right, here is Simon, he is a young adult. But as I was saying before, um, I said in the first video that I wasn't gonna do an update until Rue aged up into a young adult and we were on her generation. But Simon is about to move out and start his own life. So is our second child, Milo, they're gonna move out soon. So I wanted to do an update before we sent them on their way. Um, but here is Simon, he is officially a young adult. Nothing has changed. He's gonna age up in 51 days. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, what trait did he get? I think he got the never nude trait when he aged up. So for his lifetime wish, he wants to be an international super spy. He's really close with his dad. So, um, he also has the brave and daredevil trait. So I feel like he would love to grow up in Avery's shoes and work with his dad and maybe one day like be his partner at work so they can share a police cruiser, you know, go on little police cruising outings together. But um, yeah, so he is a big fan of his dad. I think his dad is actually his best friend. Okay, no, he's not. His best friend is Milo, but he's really good friends with his dad. He's closer with his dad than his mom. Like I don't even think, oh, they're not even friends. Like they have a really rough relationship. Um, Simon and Naomi, they don't get along at all. Um, but yeah, he does have the international super spy lifetime wish. These are, let me go through this way first. Um, these are his lifetime rewards. 
basic, basic, basic. Again, you can pause. He does have an opportunity at work. This is his inventory. He has level four athletic, level five charisma, level five cooking, level three fishing, level three gardening, level three logic, level six painting, and level three writing. At one point, I thought he was gonna be a painter, but he didn't get the artistic lifetime wish. So I said, eh, screw that. Um, right now he's law enforcement level one, he's a snitch. Previously he worked at the grocery store, he was making 57 an hour, but that was a part-time job. And that's everything there. These are his relationships here. Like I said, he's really good friends with Milo, but yeah, here's everyone else. He is currently engaged to Gabriella Dreamer. Um, if you guys know Lucky Palms, Darren Dreamer, as well as Darlene Dreamer are in this world. They ended up having a daughter instead of a son. Yeah, whatever. Um, but her name is Gabriella. They met in high school. They recently got engaged. He actually got he proposed to her shortly after they did their first woohoo, so I'm assuming it was that good. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, they're engaged. I did give her a bit of a makeover, just changed up her hair a little bit. I didn't do like facial reconstruction or anything. I just gave her some makeup and things like that. I am actually gonna have them get married today because L Naomi does want to see Simon get married. It's really interesting. She does not like this child. Like she actually despises him, but she does want the best for him. So she wrote the wish to see him get married. And I think they're gonna have just a private ceremony no big wedding we're not even gonna throw a party just because we want him out of the house and actually I believe yeah she lives over here so this is the dreamer household so she lives just down the block like I said they're gonna have a private ceremony he's gonna get moved out and we are gonna say goodbye to Simon so say bye to Simon everyone um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these sims up for download, but if I do end up putting them up for download, it will be on my Tumblr page, nonrevsims.tumblr.com, and I'll update you guys on Twitter, at nonrevsims, if I do end up putting them up for download. Um, but yeah, he's a little cutie. Honestly, he kinda looks more like Avery than Naomi. I don't know, I can't tell who he actually looks like. He actually doesn't. He doesn't look anything like either of his parents. Who was your parent? Because he doesn't look like, uh, I don't know. I don't know who he looks like, but he has his mom's eyes, his dad's hair. All right, next up we have Milo, who is actually in his pajamas. Let me just change his outfit real quick. Sir, what are you doing? He's inappropriate, so he will wear whatever he wants to wear. But for the purposes of this video, we need you to be in your everyday wear, okay? <laughs> um, he is actually, I honestly, truly kind of wish he would have been our heir because he is so freaking cool like honestly i would have loved playing him but it's cool whatever um here is milo he aged up and got the party animal trait i think it was party animal but these are his traits here he just aged up i think two days ago so he will age up in 53 days these are his wishes he is he hates the outdoor so he wants to stay inside for 24 hours and then he also is virtuoso so that's why he wants to join the music career um but i gave him the lifetime wish of rock star so he wants to reach level 10 of the music career in the rock branch and i feel like he just gives me like i don't know just old old vibes like i don't know i just get that's why he's wearing the little like bell bottoms, you know, this whole outfit, the chain, you know, I think he's that type of rock star, you know, he's very retro vintage and that's the look he's going for. Love him so much. He's honestly so cool. Um, again, he is inappropriate and a party animal. So he's just, you know, he's ready to get the party going. He does not currently have a job yet. I will get him um, into the music career, but this is his previous job. He worked at the bookstore and these are his skills. He is level four athletic, level five charisma, level six guitar, level three handiness, level three logic, level four painting, level three writing. Do you have any books? One of them, okay, no, he didn't write any books. I was gonna say, I know one of them wrote a few books, but it wasn't him. Um, this is his inventory. He has this nice little guitar over here called El Grunjo. That's his guitar, matches his outfit. Um, and that is all there is to him. So he is currently also engaged to Corinne Tanner. She is definitely giving the vibes to fit. Oh, he's actually talking about her, thinking about her. That's crazy. You can see her a little better here in his little thought bubble, but I gave her a little makeover as well. Again, I didn't change any facial features, just put on some makeup for the extra Sims just to make them look a little nicer. But here are his relationships. All that good stuff he's actually really good friends with his mom unlike simon <laughs> i don't i don't know what it is i think my sim was just or naomi was just disappointed that he was not the heir so he's like screw you kid 
he's she's like you're the first one to you know make me fail this challenge anyway um he is engaged he also autonomously tried for a baby with um his fiance so this girl corinne she's currently pregnant we heard the little jingle but he did this on his own so i'm like okay gone ahead he has not rolled the wish to marry her so i think i am just gonna have them move in together and be engaged and i'll let story progression handle them if they want to get married they can do them but for now simon is the only one i'm for sure gonna get married just because his mom does want him to get married all right, next up we have Beckett, who is on the phone with his 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 man. All right, this is Beckett. Um, I don't know, Beckett was a weird one. Like I said, he had the hair, so I was excited for him to age up, but obviously he is not our heir. Um, anyway, I think, I don't know what he got when he aged up, which trait, but he's currently a teenager. He's gonna age up in two days. I'm excited for him. He does have a boyfriend, Emil Santos, who he met at school. He's actually the babysitter. Um, he was looking a little crazy, but I gave him a makeover, so now he's looking good. So that is his man. He actually wants to hug him amorously. I might invite him over tomorrow to have them do a little catch up, but these are his relationships. He actually doesn't know very many people outside of his family. He knows one, two, three, four, including his boyfriend. So I don't know. I, I, his traits are, his. he's friendly, so he should have more friends, but he just doesn't have any friends outside of his family, which I mean, he gets along with all of his family really well. Well, I mean, this guy's his friend, but um, yeah, he doesn't really have friends, which is kind of sad. Uh, he is on honor roll. He does not have a job. He never rolled the wish to have one, so I didn't give him one. Um, he is writing level seven. Oh, this is my writer. Okay, so he's fishing level four, gardening level three, logic level three, painting level six, and writing level seven. Now, this guy, he is like, he is doing really good. So he's actually written 10 books. Three of them have been hits, two bestsellers, and just one flop. And currently he is gaining 899 simoleons in royalties every week. This is why he doesn't have a job. So these are all of the books he's written, The Perfect Genetics, <laughs> part one through 10. Um, he hasn't rolled the wish to write another book yet, so I don't think we're gonna write another one for him. But yeah, you can see here, he's been making some good money writing books. Um, he does have an opportunity for school. This is his inventory. And then he has the acclaimed author and carefree. Um, we got him this one because obviously he writes books. So that is all there is to him. Yeah, I wish he had more friends. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Next up, we have the twins, Miss Emmy. She's over here. I think she's having, she's the one chatting with Milo. That's why Milo was talking about his girl. So this is Emmy. She is such a cute Sim. I actually think she's really pretty. Um, her nose is very, very thin, but I think she's cute. So it's sad that she didn't she wasn't our heir anyway um i believe she got the flirty trait when she aged up so she's a very flirty sim we don't have a partner for her yet and um this video is probably going to go up really late but i kind of wish i would have um did this request for someone to make a boyfriend or a girlfriend for her um because yeah i think she deserves someone that would treat her really well but she is flirty she's probably gonna be um a heartbreaker like her dad <laughs> i might give her that lifetime wish um just because i don't know what else to do with her she is artistic and brave so i don't know if she might go into the arts or what but um yeah let's get on into her things so these are her relationships here she's really good friends with her dad like all of the kids love their dad but they don't like their their mom <laughs> I mean, they like her, but I don't think. Um, she also doesn't have many friends. Well, this one girl, her, Lucia, she's friends with her from school, but I don't think she has any other friends besides her. Yeah. Um, she's a high school student. She's on honor roll. She does work at the spa. I think she's a receptionist. So that is that. These are her skills. She's level two charisma, level four fishing, level three handiness, level three logic, level four painting, and level three writing. She has stuff in her inventory. That's that. And she has no lifetime rewards. That's crazy. Um, this is her little outfit here. It's so cute. I love it with a little back out and everything. Back cut out with the little cutout in the back. <laughs> Love it. And then this is her hairstyle with that little matching ribbon. And she's currently watching the romance channel because she is flirty. Um, so yeah, there we go. Twin number one. Now twin number two, again, he is gonna age up in six days. This is Cricket. 
our little menace um yeah okay i'm not okay so i mm, mm, let me let me tell you about them first before i get started with these two going together um i'm not sure what he aged up with maybe the no sense of humor i don't remember which trait he ended up with but i know he was mean before he was always a mean sim or maybe he got mean spirited i'm not sure um these are his relationships here he's actually friends with this woman vivian I don't know where this came from. She's an adult. Why are you talking to my teenage son? You know what, actually, I think they became friends when he was a child, so that's even a little worse. But yeah, so so that's that. He is on honor roll. He does work, have a part-time job at the grocery store. And his skills, he's level four athletic, level three cooking, level six fishing. Actually, he loves fishing. That is his thing. He's quite caught quite a bit of fish here so you guys can see we've earned 349 simoleons from fish alone so that's his thing he has level three handiness and level three writing this is his inventory i actually just cleaned out all the fish he had in his inventory he also does have all the books for fishing so i think he knows the bait for a majority of the fish yeah so see here we just have a few more we need to figure out the bait for so he is he's on it with the fish um i just had him sell a few more items um, he does need to improve his charisma skill and yeah so let me tell y'all um this girl <laughs> she's actually marisol's daughter so like i said avery had a, a girlfriend before that's where his daughter came from their half sister um and this is her daughter i was like thinking she should go for beckett but then beckett had a crush on emil so i was like that's cool i was gonna invite her over and have them flirt but it looks like they're flirting already so like they're into it this girl is crazy so they're definitely a match made in heaven because they're both i i'm pretty sure she's mean let me actually go look it up how can i see this wait do you know mm, i'm not sure how to see her traits i know someone knows it someone knows it okay he doesn't even know her She's a hopeless romantic, inappropriate couch potato. I think the other one is mean spirited. So these two can be mean together. Um, I think he just had his first kiss. I'm not even sure. I think we missed it. Um, let's hit play. Oh, they just had their first kiss and we missed it. <laughs> I'm actually really sad about that because now she's his romantic interest and he got the first kiss smooth lit. Oh, and the first romance. Okay, you guys, again, when you turn on um, autonomous like kisses and woohoo and stuff, you get some things like that, that you're like, um, what's happening? Um, but again, this is Cricket. He's my, you know, evil fave. He is chaotic and I love everything about him. So that is Cricket and this will be his future girlfriend. Good, to, good luck to you, Cricket. Um, you guys belong together. All right, last up on the update list. I know this hair looks a little crazy. It it gets like that whatever um our heir miss rue okay so miss rue will age up in 10 days into an adult here she is i gave her some nice little glasses because i thought you know why not i like when my sims have glasses because it's cool okay <laughs> um so this is her little outfit oh wait did i show you everyone's outfits yeah i think i showed you his he has on like this little jacket with the converse um, she has on this he has on my favorite outfit over there. He's wearing purple and they're all wearing their favorite colors um, His favorite color is orange his favorite color. Oh, what's your favorite color? Is it blue? It is blue So his shirt is blue and then Simon's favorite color is purple as always Rue is she's not wearing her favorite color. Okay Well, here is miss Rue our heir. I gave her this cute little hat just because I saw this on tumblr and I was like Yes, of course when she aged up I gave her the photographer's eye trait because this came from world adventures and then she also she also she did this on her own but um it, it was very obvious that she was gonna roll this wish this is what the lifetime wish i was gonna give her anyway but she ended up rolling it and i was like perfect timing so she rolled the wish to be a visionary this lifetime wish came with world adventures so she wants to reach level 10 of painting and photography skills and i was like this is perfect because i wanted something I wanted to choose a lifetime wish that I've never done before. Yeah, so this is her lifetime wish here. It, like I said, it came with World Adventures. So I have never messed with the photography skill. I have never done like photos or anything. And I thought this one would be easier. That way we can take pictures in the tombs and also explore the tombs and not focus so much on the not focus so much on the martial arts skill because that does take up quite a bit of time. So we can travel to France, Egypt, and 
China doing this, taking photos all over, exploring tombs, doing all that good stuff with this one. So that is that. Um, all of her, oh, I also gave her the favorite food of crepes just because again, it came with Lifetime. It came with World Adventure, so I did change that one. These are her relationships here. She does not currently have any romantic interests at the moment. Um, she also doesn't have many friends at school because a lot of them did age up. So <laughs> these were people she was getting to know, but I think they're all adults besides him and Lucia. So Lucia was actually her friend as a child. Um, they did play a around quite a bit. So they were friends when she was a child. So that is her friend. So I'm going to say that maybe like Rue introduced Lucia to Cricket, but then again, I, she probably shouldn't have done that because Cricket's psycho. Um, but maybe she realized that Lucy is crazy too and was like, oh, you'd be perfect for my brother. She also works at the day spa. I think she is in the, um, oh, so she's a spa specialist. And then this one is a receptionist, right? Oh no, they're both spa specialists. I don't know, they're, they're different. Um, there's two part-time jobs at the day spa and she has the other one. So she has, they, they each have one of them. All right, these are her skills. I know she does not have many, but that's because we've been focusing on the ones she does have. So she does paint quite a bit. Oh, I just sold her painting. She did do a painting a few, um, she just finished one. Wait, wait, what's going on? Someone just got daggers that they're cheating. What is happening? Wait, why are you upset with her? Witness the betrayal. Wait, does she have a boyfriend? <gasps> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We can see her family tree. What is happening? Okay, okay. Hold on. Because again, this is Kendra's sister, right? So this, oh, this is how we see her traits here. So she's inappropriate, a hopeless romantic, couch potato, and loves the outdoors. She has a boyfriend. <gasps> her boyfriend, Travis, is friends with Simon. That's why, that's why Simon is upset because his friend is Travis. Oh Lord, she has a whole boyfriend, but I'm pretty sure this man is a, an adult. She has a whole boyfriend and a baby. She's in high school, y'all. What is, what in the mess? What is going on? Like, what is happening? This is, so that's Simon's friend. That's why he's pissed off at her because she's over here flirting with his brother when his best friend is her man. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Okay, okay. Um. Wow. Okay, that, that was not meant to happen in this episode. We're supposed to be talking about Rue. Um, anyway, these are her relationships. I think I am gonna get her a man from either, from one of the worlds. So um, last time I played World Adventures, we got a man from Shang Simla. So maybe we'll get one from Egypt or Paris. I do like when Sims get the Chinese or the hidden trait for the Chinese culture in World Adventures. So I don't know, maybe we might get another one from Shang Simla. Oh Lord. This is not good. They're all upset with her. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Disliked. Now they all dislike her. Well, that one's an acquaintance. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was, that was, okay guys, we couldn't keep that to ourselves. <laughs> anyway, like I said, Rue has been focusing on writing. Um, she has written five books. One flop, one hit, one bestseller. She does write nonfiction and the name, <laughs> the names of her books are generation one base game generation two world adventures generation three uh ambitions generation four late night generation five generations um so yeah we've been writing books based on the lives of her future heirs because obviously she's generation two so um uh, oh look the best seller was generation four late night so maybe that'll be the best generation in this series um these are her items in her inventory. I am gonna get her started on cooking. I am gonna work on her skills much more. I've just been playing the other Sims and not focusing much on her until she ages up, but I think I am gonna focus more on her just because, again, she's our next heir. These are her rewards. She has fast learner and observant. All right, all right, we've met all of the Sims. I'm gonna keep it on polish just because this is a lot going on here. Um, that whole betrayal. Let's do a little house tour real quick while my Sims are fighting. Over here in the entrance, like I said in the beginning, I wanted to put like a seating area in the entrance of the house. So we do have that. Should I do tab camera? Y'all know me and tab camera don't get along, but let's let's deal with it. Okay, so we got a little sitting area over there. Over here we have our little entrance over here with a little nice, nice little table over there for them to throw their keys in a mirror. 
over here we have the living room nothing has changed i did say i want a bigger dining table but again they don't all eat at the same time so it's cool kitchen nothing has changed over here we put in two easels i think we only had one in the bathroom if this is too fast i'm sorry just slow the video down <laughs> the bathroom nothing has changed um in the boys room nothing has changed but they're about to move out so that's why i didn't bother redoing it so again nothing has changed in here all the same they still have all the kids stuff again they're about to move out so i didn't bother fixing it over here their room is still the same right yes i don't i didn't change anything if you do want to see a full like in-depth look at their rooms and stuff go watch part one because all of this was the same in part one so that's why i'm not really focusing on it so yeah all of upstairs is still the same the only thing that has changed was the basement where the um teens live so that's the only thing that has changed because i had to fix it up for them to have actual bedrooms all right let's first go in so the hall is still the same let's go in the boys room so i said in the original video cricket and beckett were gonna live in the same room and then emmy was gonna live with or stay in the room with ruth so this is cricket's area over here he has a little parking sign that will say he stole that from someplace because you know he's crazy I feel like that's something he'd do this is his room here this is beckett's area over here beckett is our more artistic sim so i feel like he would love artwork like that on the wall this is beckett's area like where he writes all of his books this is his study area so he's written all of his bestsellers his flops everything over there so that's that um yeah here's the boys room all right let's go over let's show you the bathroom because i didn't do that last time yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot we had a bathroom. Um, this is the bathroom. I don't think it's changed at all. I didn't even take out the potty chair because we're not even going to move from this house. We're not. We're going to live here for a minute until we have to change worlds. Like, I think Ambitions will move to Twinbrook. But for World Adventures, we are staying right here in Lucky Palms. Even when we get to Twinbrook, I'm taking this house with us just because I love it so much. <laughs> um, all right, here's the girls' room. Um, I probably should have updated it because they're, they are teens, but I couldn't be bothered. So this is Emmy's side. Um, I have a little chalkboard on the wall for them to like do their homework or just write little messages, you know? Then I have little um, artwork on the wall for ballet. None of them have actually done ballet, even though I have the ballet bar, I just didn't bother. Um, over here is Rue's area. So she has a nice little photo of Paris because that's where she's gonna go when she gets older. Again, I didn't update it much since they were kids. So this is all of this stuff from when they were kids. So they have like little toys on the wall, toys on the floor. Uh, we have a little Eiffel Tower over there, again, to represent Rue's love for travel. She will be forced to travel. And then we have a teddy bear sitting in the middle of the room. I don't know why I didn't put that there. I don't know who put that there, but yeah, that is the girl's room. And that is the entire house. Love this house. That's why I'm taking it with me to Twinbrook. I know it will not fit in Twinbrook because this house, look at it, it has palm trees. Twinbrook does not have palm trees, but we're taking them with us. Um, yeah, that is everything about this house. I think this wasn't here last time. Oh, I forgot this out front. Um, we have a little chest here because we keep all of the good quality items so that my Sims don't ever have to go grocery shopping. So they save a lot of money because Naomi is a gardener. So that is that. And this video has gone on for so freaking long, but I do want to see what the outcome of this is going to be. Oh, um, Beck is feeling some type of way too. Mind your business, Beckett. All right. Well, clearly these two, I, I told y'all, they like to cause trouble. So, I mean, if you want her, you can have her. We can tell her to break up with her man. Oh, he can't yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to force them to break up. Yeah, because I mean, I was going <laughs> to... I was gonna make them date anyway. I didn't know she had a whole boyfriend. Huh. Lucia, girl, what are you doing? Wait, who are you playing catch with? What is, what's happening? Okay, are you gonna play catch with Lucia? He's still upset with Lucia. Um, Beckett is. Okay, well they can go play catch, I guess. Get out of the house because these people are some haters. Oh wait, you're gonna play catch with your mom? No, talk to her, literally. That's why we invited her over. We'll ask her about her show. Leave your mom alone. She's busy. Becky, didn't I tell you to go read? He has a wish to read 20 books, which is crazy. So see, she ran again, guys. You saw that. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Again, if you want to see more of them, more in depth, or if you want to see all 1,000 photos, I'm not going to upload 1,000. That's not going to happen. <laughs> if you want to see all 1,000 photos of this family, you can follow me on Tumblr at NonRevSims. That's where I post the majority of Naomi's life, and it's where I will post the majority of Rue's life. So if you want to see more, go to nonrevsims.tumblr.com, or you can follow me on Twitter. I usually update it like a few days later. I'll do like a bulk update on Twitter, so you can go there as well if you want to see that. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to let me know your thoughts about this family or this crazy couple right here, they're going to be a hoot. And so is Milo and his girl. Um, then you can definitely comment down below or tweet me on Twitter at nonrepsims. And if you enjoy my content and you want to see more stuff like this, more current households, um, then definitely hit that subscribe button, guys. This has been an update from the Clark Perfect Genetics Lepacy. I will see you guys in the next one.